Hello, this is what I did when I had some time and a fridge that I really didn't like. I wanted to give my fridge a new face because I really hated the color and so I decided, you know what, why not, who says I can't? So I spent I think three or four days working on my fridge and you can see it somewhere in the background. That's the new look, so I turned it from something that looks like this into this. So if you'd like to see how I did this, be sure to watch this video to the end and let's go! So the first step of course is to pick the colors you would want to go with. So I went with a mint green and an eggshell white. Um, I just wanted a mint green but then I decided white would help. Just tone it down a bit. You'll need primer, painter's brush, painter's tape and more painter's tape. I can't emphasize just how much tape you will need. So pick this up plus a box cutter. So clean your fridge, make sure it's a clean surface and then go in with your primer. So this is just normal primer, this is the same, that's the same kind that's used in our house. So just paint that on the clean surface, paint, 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 paint and this is what it looked like. This is actually after it had dried up, so I left this overnight, actually it was a full day, something close to 12 hours. And then I measured so that I could decide how big I wanted my squares so I cut out a square this was six inches by six inches make sure it's a square if you're going for the same design and then I just mapped out on the entire thing on the entire fridge that is and then I went in and started creating my pattern this will change as you go along uh, you'll make mistakes but worry not I just I was it was trial and error until I found a design that I really liked but I had a general idea so do that and then now just tape it and then find out which parts you want to paint so I went in with the tape I first painted the entire fridge with the eggshell white because I figured that would make it easier for me to do a pattern then now start painting so here I start going freehand and I noticed that the lines were not exactly straight the places I didn't have tape so for the rest of it I had to go back in and actually tape the rest off because it was a lot harder to do it this way but once I added the paint the tape sorry once I added the tape it was so much faster and cleaner once I took out the tape so make sure you do that so seal off all your triangles with tape and make sure the paint the patch you're, you're painting is on the inside and the lines are super clean so then just paint the boxes that you want to paint again this is in regards to the pattern you pick so each pattern will be different and this is what I look like so that's you can tell where I taped off so this is what it looked like and then time to peel off that done tape so peel off while the paint is still wet because if you wait for it to dry when you peel off it might come off with it might chip the rest of it so just do it when it's wet and then now let it dry as it's supposed to look so peel it off and this is what you get this is your final result I really love the pattern that I came up with um, I was so impressed by it oh yeah a point to note make sure you seal off any part that you don't want painted so I had sealed off initially the that part that has the lights and the temperatures thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you liked it please give it a thumbs up that way i will know and make more of its kind if you haven't subscribed already be sure to do that right over here just click on my face and you'll be subscribed and if you haven't watched my previous video it's right over here you can also check me out on my social media all my information is over here or you can follow the direct links in my description box that's all i had for today and i hope i'll see you in my next video i'll be doing new videos every monday and thursday so always be on the lookout i do promise to upload without fail bye